Hello and welcome back friends. In today's episode we are going to learn how we can grow pineapple plant at our home in a very easiest way. Everyone can do it, okay? This is the pineapple fruit that I have brought from the local market. Here you have to break this pineapple crown from pineapple. You should not cut it otherwise the root will be chopped off. So you should break like this. Okay. Now remove the pineapple fruit. Here I have pineapple crown. From this pineapple crown, I am removing some leaves. So here you can see these brown roots. They are very small, but they are the root. They will grow later on in the big root. So I'll remove few other leaves from this pineapple crown so that the base will be exposed and the roots will get way to grow so here are the roots and since it, uh, the leaves are little bit messed up i will just remove them and make it a bit clean for my project okay now this look pretty good to me removing the messed up things so now I'll put this base inside a cup of water and leave it like that for a few days and after a few days the roots will start growing from the base of it. Similarly I have prepared another cup and another cup. I have prepared three of pineapple crowns for my project. So here you can see the base of the crown of the pineapple is completely dipped inside the water okay let's see after a few days here after 14 days the leaves has a little bit dried up no problem but you can see a tiny roots white roots has started growing so the plant has started growing here also you can see from all the direction the roots has started growing the third pineapple crown here also the root has started growing so my three of the pineapple crown has started growing and they are alive and after 25 days you can see the roots are quite longer than earlier and similarly here also the roots are quite long and also the upper part of the leaves will also start growing here the roots you can see they are also quite long so after a month after 33 days the roots are very long they are quite healthy and the plant is also quite healthy few of the leaves have get dried up but no problem the roots are growing uh, quite good in this cup so i don't have to do anything i have just covered the base of the cup with the paper so that the light will not go inside and the root will grow in a good way in a healthier way here the roots you can see the roots are quite healthy and they are doing really good in this cup you can see the roots okay here also you can see the roots are very good they are growing very well inside these cups so now after 43 days you can see the roots a bunch of the roots has grown very well with this pineapple crown and it is really doing good inside this cup and similarly the another pineapple crown it has also grown very well roots and similarly the other all all of my three pineapple crown has grown very excellent roots so now it's time to transplant them in the carries okay this is the normal garden soil okay while uh, planting them just hold the pineapple crown above and fill with the mud from all direction don't just bang the uh, pineapple crown on the ground otherwise the roots will be damaged and the plant cannot grow hold the pineapple crown above the ground and just fill with the 
mod from all the directions so that the roots will not get damaged here my tree of the pineapple crown has been planted in the ground and i'm pretty much sure that the roots are not damaged at all now watering them so that the water will help the root to get attached with the mud in a very nice way so that roots will not move during the process of growth and the plant will also get firm inside this mud and they will start growing in a healthier way so few tips for new growers are start your project in early of summer or during summer time so that the plant can grow faster and since the growth of the root is disturbed by the light so make the base of the cup dark with some paper or anything so if you keep these things in mind you can grow your pineapple plant in a very healthier and very easy way so i hope you have learned something from my video if you have learned something please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos thank you and see you again